Sprite, pull up the Atlantic weather map and give me an update. Doug, I've already told you, Epsilon is way out in the ocean. We don't have anything to worry about. Are you absolutely sure? Is there a cone? I don't see a cone. No cone? No cone. Look for yourself. OK. Fantastic. Welcome to the T-Shirt Transfer Paper Power Half Hour. I'm your host, Doug DeWitt. Welcome to our second show, which would have normally been our first show anniversary show because we love the show so much. As a matter of fact, we had to get a brand new server in because we just drew so much power from the last show, completely blew out the old server. And we were planning on so much fun today. We were going to do some wacky, crazy stuff for our first show anniversary show. But, you know, things happen, you know, such as hurricanes coming at us and medical emergencies going on with the family. So sorry I had to delay the second show for a number of weeks, but we're back and we are back with some big news concerning Oki data printers, specifically their white toner laser printers. Now, like I said, we had planned something else, but we figured that this news was so big, probably need to dedicate a show to it just to let you know. So I'm going to go ahead and summon my monkey in space, working mission control sprite. Can you hear me? Uh, that's a big 10-4, good buddy. Awesome. Let's go ahead and pull up the press release. Let's go ahead and get started with this. Okay, people. What you are looking at is a press release generated from Oki Data, and it's titled, Oki Data to Stop Selling Printers in North, Central, and South America. I'll go ahead and read it verbatim. Oki Data Americas, a world-class printing technology leader, announced today that effective March 31st, 2021, Oki Data America Incorporated will no longer distribute printer hardware under the Oki brand to North, Central, and South American markets. This includes all LED-based single and multifunction, as well as dot matrix printer and hardware. Quote, this year, Oki embarked on a new three-year midterm plan that would reposition our company for sustained growth and long-term profitability by shifting our focus from a transactional selling approach to a value-added sales and service delivery, says Sergio Horikama, President and CEO, Oki Data America. Although we made significant progress in the execution of this plan, considerable shifts in printer market demand due to the COVID-19 pandemic forced us to reevaluate our ability to achieve midterm plan. After assessment by our management teams in Americas and Japan, it has been determined that a new path forward is required resulting in today's announcement. Oki Data, or selected partners, will continue to provide consumables, parts, and warranty services to the American markets as required by relevant countries and states to effectively support our current installation base. Oki will continue to work with our distribution partners to forecast, purchase, and fulfill shipments to maintain inventory levels that meet ongoing market demand. I want to reassure our resellers, partners, and end customers that Oki is committed to continuing to provide the necessary consumables, parts, and service to keep our printers operational for years to come. This announcement impacts the Americas markets only. Oki's domestic, which is Japan, and other overseas markets will maintain their current business course and strategy. Global OEM arrangements and the distribution of specific value-added product lines that impact the Americas will be directly managed by Oki Data Corporate in Japan Sincerely, Oki Data. So, what exactly does this mean for us? I'm talking about us as a value-added reseller of Oki print engines, and to you who might have this engine in your very shop. Well, here are the things that I would gloss over from this. First off, the effective date is March 2021. Okay, so in other words, as long as you buy an Oki unit between now and March 31st, 2021, Oki will honor their arrangements as far as warranty, technical support, consumables, parts, things of that nature. The other things to gloss from this is that Oki mentioned that they will not be selling engines under their Oki brand name. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean they're not going to be sending engines to the U.S. and Latin American markets. It's just it's not going to have the Oki label on it. Um, as far as the shifts in the um, printer market due to the COVID-19, 
what we've got to understand is that the white toner units that we sell fall under a division at Oki that they call heat transfer division, which has been an extremely successful division at Oki Data. But it's a very small division compared to their office division. And it's their office division that's what's sinking them. And the reason they're sinking is because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Simply put, you don't have office printers printing if no one's in the office to print. Therefore, that's why Oki made the decision to make this move. Um, as far as Oki will continue to honor the supplies, parts, technical support, and warranty commitments, well, they mentioned that that's due based on country and state. And the last time I checked here in the United States of America, it's federal law that if you are officially discontinuing a product, you have to offer supplies and consumables for at least five years. Now, I might be wrong, but if that is indeed the timeline, the clock would start October 31st, 2021, meaning that Oki Data would have to supply consumables and parts, as well as warranty support up until that time. Now, as far as how it will impact the American market, I really don't think it's gonna have much of an impact if you're in the European market or Asian market, it won't impact you at all. You'll still have a unit that says Oki on it. Now, as far as where this leaves us here in the United States market, well, of course, there are a number of distributors and master distributors who carry these Oki print engines. And probably the biggest one in the US market is a company called Imaging Supplies Warehouse based out of Missouri. Uh, a few days after the Oki press release, we got this press release from Image Supply Warehouse. So let's go ahead and display that one, Sprite, and let's tackle what they have to say. From their home office in St. Louis, Missouri. If you may have heard, there have been some changes coming to the white toner and laser heat transfer market in March of 2021. As a master distributor for Oki in the Americas, ISW has been on top of these changes and will continue to develop and support the laser heat transfer market with printers, supplies, and resources. Oki's announced change will have no impact on the availability of consumables, parts, or warranty services for current and future Oki heat transfer printer owners. As stated in the Oki Data America press release, I want to reassure our resellers, partners, and end customers that Oki is committed to continuing to provide the necessary consumables, parts, and service to keep our printers operational for years to come. Oki emphasized in the release that they will no longer sell Oki branded hardware in the Americas market. Oki Data Corporation in Japan will continue to produce and distribute printers through global OEM arrangements. As Oki has a strong legacy in the private label OEM arrangements for decades and their LED technology has been the foundation on which other brands have built their solutions. Oki will continue to develop these global OEM arrangements through exclusive partnerships in key markets, including the Americas, and will work with these partners to forecast, purchase, and fulfill shipments to maintain inventory levels that meet growing market demand. In order to continue to serve the laser heat transfer market for the Americas, effective April 2021, ISW intends to launch a series of white toner laser printers that will be seemingly interchangeable with the current product line. Our goal is to make the transition to a new private label as seamless as possible and avoid any interruptions in the supply chain. Since the introduction of the white toner laser printers for garment decoration, we at ISW have seen incredible growth and interest and demand for this technology in both North and South America. ISW is committed to building on this momentum by making certain our dealer network can continue to provide their customers with necessary products and support to grow their decoration business, stated Jim Tenholder, president of ISW. In addition, ISW will be rolling out a large marketing initiative to promote our current and future printer levels, continue to drive awareness and education, and provide our dealer with quality leads. We know that change can be uncertain, but just know that ISW is here and we've got your back. Okay. I need some go-go juice after that one. But it's a good thing to note, as far as the impact that this is gonna have based on the conversations that ISW is having with Oki Data, they claim it's gonna have no impact whatsoever on current Oki owners. In other words, if you already own an Oki white toner printer, you'll continue to get consumables, 
parts, supplies, technical support, and warranty work if your unit's still under warranty. <clears throat> what we've got to remember is they're now talking about distributing under a global OEM network. As you may be aware, there are already a number of systems supplied by Condi and other distributors that fall under this type of category. In other words, the Sawgrass Virtuoso printers are an OEM printer. Uh, the Uninet iColor is an OEM printer. These units are not manufactured by Sawgrass or Uninet. They're manufactured by Rico and private label to companies like Sawgrass Technologies and iColor. So basically what you're gonna have is a similar situation with the Yoki data systems. So effective April, you won't necessarily see an Oki 8432WT in the U.S. market. What you might see is an ISW 8432WT in the U.S. market. Basically, it will be the same print engine. It will be the same toner. It will be the same consumables, same setup, same drivers. In other words, everything is going to be the same. It's just not going to have the Oki brand name on it. It's just going to have another brand name. Now, we did mention that ISW is launching their line in April of 2021. That's when they plan to get up and running, basically immediately after the direct Oki support ends. Now, at this point, what you would have to consider is, if you're in the market for a white toner system, when do you purchase? If you want my advice and you want to play it safe, I would say you definitely want to purchase your system before March 31st, 2021. That's not saying that ISW isn't going to do a bang up job picking up this product line and moving forward. Uh, the couple of questions that I would have, which hopefully we'll get answers to later on, is what's the situation going to be in regards to warranty work? Because Okie Data has their contract that contract suppliers that they go through as far as warranty work is concerned. Will a master distributor like ISW use the same company? Will they go with a different service company for their warranty work? The other question that really needs to be addressed is where they mentioned in the press release the seemingly interchangeable with current Oki systems. Now, where that falls into line, I think, is in the toners. Because the way that Oki Data has operated through their global supply chain is they tend to protect their global supply lines. In other words, they don't want suppliers in the Asian market selling into the U.S. market and vice versa. So the way that Oki Data usually keeps these markets in line is by microchipping their toner cartridge. In other words, if you buy your system in the United States, you have to get a toner that is microchipped for the U.S. market. If you buy your Oki Data system in Asia, you have to get your supplies and consumables from Asian distributors for Oki because they're microchipped for that market. The real question in my mind is going to be, once the transition goes from an Oki data system to an ISW system, will the microchip be the same or will they change the microchip in order to accommodate the ISW? So in other words, it's a possibility that you could have basically one printer that's using two different sets of consumables depending on whether you have an Oki brand or an ISW brand. Now the cartridges are gonna be the exact same. The toner inside those cartridges are gonna be the same toner. It's gonna to have the same capacity. Everything's gonna be the same, but that microchip. So basically what we need to figure out is, could you take an ISW system and put an Oki toner cartridge in there and have the microchip read properly? Well, if that is the case, then yeah, you are truly talking about a seamless transition from one platform to the other. Now, the other thing that I would note here is the marketing initiative that ISW plans to launch for these systems. Now, if a particular printing solution were, let's say, going the way of the Dodo or being obsoleted, I would doubt seriously that a master distributor would sink a ton of money in marketing and resources toward that type of project. In other words, no sense investing in a sinking ship. But we don't view the white toner system as a sinking ship. As a matter of fact, I view the white toner system as a flagship system. I think it is proven, I think it's reliable. 
And I definitely feel that ISW agrees, which is why they are planning on dropping a lot of money into letting everybody know and reassuring everybody that things are going to be cool. So the way that I would look at this situation, it's kind of like the first rule in the Hitchhiker's Guide of the Galaxy. Don't panic, okay? As far as it's concerned, like I said, you may want to make arrangements to go ahead and obtain an Oki system between now and the end of March 2021 because it will have that Oki branding. It will have that Oki warranty. It will have that Oki support, okay? Um, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be behind the eight ball, so to speak, if you wait till after 2021 and go with an ISW system. But like I said, there are still some details that probably need to be hammered out between ISW and Oki before we know for certain which is the more reliable path to go. Based on the information staring me in the face right now, what I would advise is if you're interested in a white toner system, get in touch with your account manager and go ahead and make arrangements to get that system in. That's probably the best bet. So where does this leave Condi going forward? Well, what we're going to do at Condi is, like I said, we are big believers in the white toner platform. Uh, what I love about the white toner platform is the stability of using dry toner as opposed to liquid ink. The fact that we can go on to so many types of fabrics and hard substrates. The fact that we could decorate white, light color, and dark garments, as well as all these other various colors and substrates. The fact that we could use the printer for other things besides a transfer printer. Um, the fact that you could turn these printers off days, weeks, even months at a time, and when you need them, power them up and go. Um, I still think it's a more viable solution for more small businesses out there than something like a direct-to-garment system, which needs constant printing and constant attention in order to make any type of profit off of it. So as far as where we stand here at Condi Systems, we are not dissuaded by the information provided by Oki saying that they are essentially going to take the label off their printer in the United States market. As long as Condi Systems can continue to get our hands on an Oki print engine, Condi Systems will continue to offer Oki print engines as part of our lineup. Now, by the same token, it doesn't necessarily mean that we aren't going to explore other methods that are out there for garment decoration. Because, like anything, the world evolves and sometimes some products can come along that may simply wow you. For instance, what we are looking at right now and we're hoping to expand is our ability to use inkjet sublimation and do sublimation to cotton. Some of you may be familiar with these products at the moment. Uh, we are now carrying Forever Brand papers known as Sublolite, Sublolite Glitter, and coming very, very soon, hope, hope, Sublimation Dark Glitter. But basically, these are ways that we can essentially use an inkjet sublimation system and decorate a white, light, or dark colored cotton garment. So, Again, we're always looking at different methods of, you know, garment decoration. Uh, there are also going to be some other inkjet systems that are coming down the pipeline that we will give a serious look at. Because one of the limitations for inkjets for years has been, of course, running a white ink. If you run a white ink through an inkjet system, white ink is made out of titanium dioxide, and titanium dioxide is going to clog a printhead. It's going to happen. It's just the nature of titanium dioxide. However, if you can take an ink that's not white, but yet somehow magically turn it white on the paper or turn it white on the finished product, well, there's a neat and interesting way to dance around that. Now, years ago, there was a system out there called the Reveal Print Perfect. Uh, it was developed by Vivid Chemical Company. Um, as far as the system was concerned, they got it up and running ran into some issues that were a little difficult to solve, uh, but they've recruited some help. As a matter of fact, they've recruited some big hitting help, and that would be Nina Koldenhove. Um, so now you've got Nina Koldenhove and Vivid Chemical partnering together, and it looks like the re-release of the Reveal Print Perfect system is going to be coming very soon. Now, of course, here at Condi, we're going to take a long, hard look at it, just like we evaluate other systems that come down our pipeline, so to speak. But what we want to make sure is that, one, the system is going to be reliable, that it's going to do what you want it to do, that the system is going to give you consistent results, and 
that most operators can use the system with ease. Now, some of the tech support calls I get with the Oki system, you know, some of you may beg to differ, but the reality is these systems that we're looking at are gonna be much easier to operate to go on with the direct to garment route. So, like I said, that's basically our plan going forward here at Condi. Of course, the way 2020 is rolling, who knows what can change next. But, you know, until something else happens, we'll just keep our nose to the grindstone, keep evaluating, and make sure that we as a company can provide you the very best value in today's color output technology. So, that's basically where we are at the moment. That was the big news. Of course, not as fun as taking stuff here and trying to blow it up in the oven or trying to set fire in the heat press, but we'll probably go ahead and do that the next show because the next show we're going to roll with the T-shirt transfer paper power half hour is what I'm going to call a live product test where we're going to take certain paper products and we're going to put them through extreme use to see if we can do things that aren't normally recommended with the paper. But sometimes you got to push the limit to figure out what these products can do. So look forward to that to the next t-shirt transfer paper power half hour. But before I tell you about that, I want to tell you about some of the upcoming sales and current sales that we're currently offering here at Condi. Right now we're running our No Tricks Just Treat promotion for the month of October and we are offering, and I'm going to make sure, I'm going to read this to make sure I get this right. We are giving a $25 off coupon for orders over $200. Is right? Is that true? It may be a typo, but I think that's correct. Boy. Okay. Well, hey, if it's on our website, it must be true. So click on the banner, No Tricks, Just Treats, and make sure you download your coupon and put it to some good use. As a matter of fact, when you get that shiny new coupon, you might want to use that coupon on some shiny new Forever Hot Stamp Foil, which we have some selected colors on sale from now till the end of the month. As again, no tricks, just more treats. Uh, we've got about 12 of the rolls on sales. I picked some of my favorite colors and styles. I hope that you like them. 10% off, and again, orders over $200, you can apply your $25 off coupon. So, hey, we're trying to make October roll as smooth as we can for you people, and you should definitely take advantage of our generosity because if you don't, we're just gonna have to come up with some other neat method to get you to buy. So. Like I said, that basically covers our sales and promotions that we're running this month. As far as the next episode of the T-Shirt Transfer Paper Power Half Hour, we normally do this every other Tuesday, but Tuesday two weeks is gonna fall November 3rd. Now, normally I would have you tune in to me because you know I just, you know, I just eat up all the attention. But on November 3rd, I would like for you to do your civic duty, which is go out and vote in our general election. Uh, I know that's what I'm gonna be doing on November 3rd, and I hope you're doing the same. No matter which candidate you pick, make sure that you get out and exercise your right to vote, because that way you can feel good about your guy if he got elected, or you can constantly talk about the other guy, but as long as you vote, and that's all that matters. That's democracy in action right there. So remember, Next episode of the T-Shirt Transfer Paper Power Half Hour, Tuesday, November 10th at 3.30 p.m. We're going to be doing a live product test. And remember, if you have any questions for the show, I guess that would be questions for me. You know, maybe Sprite will answer a question or two. But, you know, we have our own unique email address to get in touch with the show, and that is tttphh at condi.com. Send us your questions. Send us your comments. Uh, send us your success stories, tell us if you're having trouble, whatever you need to get off your chest, let us know and we will do our best to help you out uh, because that's what we're here to do. Um, so remember, tune in Tuesday, November 10th, 3.30 for our next episode of the T-Shirt Transfer Paper Power Half Hour. Hey Sprite. Dog, it, it, it looks like Epsilon's moving. I, I think I might see a cone. All right, everyone, my time's up. I thank you for yours.